In the last lecture, we saw that when we have an error in JavaScript program, the browser will not display the error by default. To see the error, we will have to use a tool called JavaScript Developer Console. So before we proceed further in this course, I want to give you a high level overview of all the tools which browsers provide. And we call it as Browsers Developer Tools. All modern browsers come with an inbuilt development tool to work with JavaScript and other web technologies. This tool is called as Developer Tool. A Developer Tool has many features like debugging, executing JavaScript expressions, inspecting DOM elements, checking networks, all these things you can do using Browsers Developer Tool. And the most important tool which we are interested in as a JavaScript developer is the Developer Console Tool. So let's talk about these developer tools and let's understand what these tools we can use for. As you can see, the developer tool is already open here in the browser. You can simply close it by clicking on this cross button. And if you want to reopen it, all you have to do is you have to right click, go to inspect. So when you click on this inspect button, it is going to open the developer tool. And there you will see that we have several tabs. And there is also a shortcut to open the developer tool. For that, you can press Ctrl Shift J. This is also going to open the browser's developer's tool. And in the developer's tool, you will see that you have many tabs. For example, you have this elements tab where you can see the HTML code. You have the console tab. So this console tab, we are going to work with this console tab a lot. Okay. Then you have the sources tab where you can see all the sources of your front end application. For example, you can see in our project, we have index.html file. So you can check that here. And we also have this style.css file. So that also you can check it here. Okay. Then we also have network tab. So in the network tab, you can see all the requests which you have made from your browser. So that is the use of network tab. Then we also have other tabs like we have the security tab, application tab, memory tab, etc. So all these are developer tools. These tools helps us as a front end developer a lot. Now I'm not going to go into details of each of these tools. We will learn about each of them one by one whenever the right time comes. For now, what we are interested in is this console tab, this console tool. So this is called as developer console tool. And this is the one which we are mostly interested in right now. Because what we are going to do is when we are going to talk about the basics of JavaScript programming language like variables, data types, etc. The results we are going to write inside this console. So in this console, we are going to write all the results. And if any error occurs in our JavaScript program, that also we are going to see in this console tab only. So this is the console tab which we are mostly interested in right now. So this developer console, it can be used for many things while developing a JavaScript application. And the most important use of a developer console is to find and fix errors in your JavaScript program. Let's understand this with an example. So let's go to our script.js file where we are writing our JavaScript code. Let me remove these two lines from here. And here, let's again use alert function. Okay. And here, let's say, hello world. Now in this code, we don't have any error. So if you save the changes, you'll see that an alert window has been displayed here. Let's click on this OK button. Now, if we have any syntax error, for example, let's say I missed this closing parenthesis here, then we are going to have an error. If I save the changes, you will see that that error has been logged here. And it tells us what is the error and on which line the error has occurred. For example, here you can see that we have a syntax error and we are missing the closing parenthesis after argument list. So after this argument list, which we are passing to this alert function, we are missing the closing parenthesis. So now we know that what is the error. We can simply fix it. And now if we save the changes, that error should not come and the alert window should be displayed. So this is one use of using this developer console. We can find and fix errors or bugs in our application. Now, one point which you need to remember is that if you have multiple errors in your JavaScript program, developer console will show only one error at a time. 
once the previous error is fixed then only the next error will be displayed so for example again let's go ahead and let's introduce an error here and let's also write some more javascript code so let's create a variable x let's assign it with the value 20 let's create a variable y let's assign it with the value 30 and now let's say alert x plus y plus z now here we have this variable x we have the variable y but we don't have the variable z so here we have two errors one at this line because here we are missing the closing parenthesis and one at this line because we are trying to use a variable which we have not declared yet so if i save the changes you will see that only one error is displayed at a time so remember that when this javascript code will be executed by the browser it will be executed line by line first this line will be executed then this line will be executed then this line will be executed and then only this line will be executed and at whichever line the browser will find an error it will throw that error and it will stop there itself here browser will find that we have an error at this line the browser will stop here and it will throw the error and it will not execute next lines of code so that's why we are seeing this error now as soon as we fix this error now the browser will execute this line we don't have any error here it will show an alert window once we close that alert window it will move to next line it will execute this line it will execute this line and again it will execute this line and at this line it will find an error so it will throw that error at this line and it will stop executing so let me save the changes you see the alert window is displayed let's click on this ok button and now we have the error so at this line the browser found an error and it threw that error and it stopped executing the code there itself so here we can see that we have an error so z is not defined so now we know that this z variable we have not defined it so that's why we have this error so we can remove this one and we can fix this error with this let's save the changes and now the first alert window will show hello world and the second alert window will show the sum of x and y so sum of 20 and 30 so remember that if in your program you have multiple errors the browser is not going to show all the errors at a time it will only show one error at a time now we can use this developer console tool to write some messages in this console or write the result of some expression in this console for that we can use a function console.log again this console.log function it is not part of javascript programming language it is provided by browser and from the javascript code we can call this function just like how we can call alert function which is also provided by browser in the same way we can also call this console.log function which is provided by browser and we use it to log something in the developer console for example if you want to log a message in the console let's say hello world so now if i save the changes you will see that this function will write this message in the developer console so here you can see this message hello world in the same way let's say you have an expression so let's say you want to add two numbers 30 and 40 and then you want to log the result of this expression so again you can use this console.log statement and there you can log y y is storing the sum of 30 and 40 if i save the changes it should log the result which is 70. so you can use this console.log to log any message in the developer console tool and we also have another function on this console class which is console.error so if you want to log any message as an error you can use console.error so let's say this is an error if i save the changes you will see that that message is logged as an error all right if you want to clear this developer console you can click on this button and it will clear everything which you have in your developer console and we can also use developer console to execute javascript code for example in the console itself you can go ahead and you can write some javascript expression for example if i say 30 plus 40 and if i press enter it is going to log the result of that expression if i use alert function here and if we open the alert window let's say welcome to console and if i press enter it should show an alert window in the browser with the message welcome to console okay then you can write other type of javascript expressions as well for example let me create a variable 
z equals 100 and now i want to log the value of z so i can say console.log and i want to log z so you see 100 is logged here so you can also use this developer console for executing some javascript expression that is also possible but mostly we use this developer console to either log errors or the result of some javascript expression now i wanted to cover about this developer console tool because we will be using this developer console tool a lot in this course to log outputs and results the browser's developer tool it is a great tool for debugging and fixing javascript code we can use it for modifying html and css of a web page for testing and we can also use it for checking what types of requests we are sending to a server or to an api what headers we have set for that request and so on so this developer tool is going to be very useful for you as a front-end developer and you will see that throughout this course for now for this first and second section we will be mostly interested in this console tool where we are going to log our results and see the errors but then in the future sections you will also see the use of other developer tools like you will see the use of this source tool you will see the use of this network tool etc all right with this now we are completely prepared to start writing javascript codes so from the next lecture let's start the basics of javascript and we will start with data types we will learn what are the different data types available in javascript programming language and we will see the use of each of them this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day